Chapter Four. Nate's mind swirled as he was a, he was afraid of the night vomit. It wasn't Scorch's moans of pain that sickened him. It was knowing what would happen to Theo. Scorch would let him sell him for sure. Eliza would lose him forever, just like she lost her husband, Gregory. Nate rushed over to Theo, who was trying to hide behind the cherry tree. Nate lifted up Theo and hugged him close. Eliza was on the porch now, bending down to help Storch. Eliza looked up. She spotted Nate and Theo. Her eyes locked with Nate, and then in that split second, Nate could see that she understood exactly what happened. Nate had to get Theo out of here. Don't worry, Nate was there to Theo. I won't let anything happen to you. But Nate's words seemed to scatter in the mind. Of course he didn't just run off with Theo. Theo wasn't just any little boy. He was a slave to Storch. Theo wasn't a person. He was a valuable property. Storch didn't want, wouldn't just let him go. He sure had to hire slave catchers. He'd offer a fat reward. He'd never stop looking. There was nothing Nate could do to help Theo unless an idea flickered in Nate's mind like a little flame. George had seen Theo through the stick. Had he? His back had been turned. What if Nate could trick Storch into thinking someone else had thrown the stick? Then Theo could be safe. Nate put Theo down. Run behind the bar, Nate whispered. Never tell anyone what happened with that stick. You come too, Theo said, cleaning Nate's arm. Soon, Nate said. Struggling to keep his voice steady, he had... He hated lying to Theo, but he had no choice. Theo turned and jashed away. Nate stood up with clenched fists and shaking legs. Nate made his way to where Storch was now sitting up. Eliza was pressing a rag to his bleeding head. I'm sorry, sir, he said. It was an accident. The stick slipped from my hand. Nate, Eliza whispered. Storch struggled to his feet, glaring at Nate with fury. Storch's eyes had been cannons. They would have blasted Nate into the sky. He lunged forward, smack. He slapped Nate across the face. Nate staggered back. He felt like his face had been scalded with a boiling water. Tears sprayed into Nate's eyes, tears of relief. That slap meant Storch believed him that Theo was safe, at least for now. But Nate was not. Storch lunged forward and grabbed Nate by his throat. His hands were like iron claws with bulging eyes and his blood smothered face. Storch looked like a sea monster from Nate's worst nightmares. Nate struggled up but couldn't break free from the choking grip. Eliza screamed with a voice inside Nate's mind, screaming louder. He's going to kill me. With his last ounce of strength, Nate whipped his arm around and bashed into the fist to the side of Storch's head. Storch lost his grip and fell back. Nate, oh, she Nate turned and ran.